Yes, okay, thank you very much. Uh, this year we're showcasing our, our demonstrators for agrivoltaic applications. So we pair an ag agrivoltaic uh, solution for, uh, for greenhouses and OPV. So you can able to you are able to generate power and develop crops at, crops at the same time. Uh, this is our demo case, uh, our big uh, our, our biggest greenhouse. Okay, this one. Can we walk over there? So yes. actually, uh, this is somewhere in Thessaloniki. Yes, yes, this is in, in Thessaloniki. We will uh, check you, it maybe one of these days. We will check it. We will take a closer look uh, into that. So we are. Uh, we can walk inside. You can see it's a big installation with already grown tomatoes. Yes. You see, tom tomatoes are, uh, are red. We also have. Uh, and this our to help to like light them 24 hours a day, or you bring more light. Exactly. And it's dark, or uh, with uh, with organic photovoltaics, we are able to ma to manipulate how much irradiation and heat goes actually on the plants themselves themselves. So they grow better, they don't produce uh, heat burns, and they actually have an increased yield of up to 30% for tomatoes, in that, in that case. Okay. And uh, what is this one down there? Okay, uh, this, was, this one is our uh, solar window, where we have implemented organic solar cells inside the window frame. This is perfect for, uh, for building integrated solutions, where photovoltaics can be placed uh, on different building elements, but in this case, we put them uh, inside the glass. So they're inside the glass panes, and you can take it and install it on the building. Nice. And you have some demos around here of this glass also. You're yes, of course. It. The demos are, uh, are back there. If you want to move over, over there. Yeah. Let's go. This is uh, our demo glass right here. This is our, our bigger our bigger frame, our bigger window. So this is a complete aluminum frame with glass and photovoltaics photovoltaic panels are incorporated inside the triplex glass. So it's everything glued, is protected from the elements and is able to provide to generate uh, renewable energy. It's transparent? Yes, it's semi-transparent. You can see it's uh, above 35% uh, uh, transparency. You can see if I walk behind it, you can see me. Okay. All right, so it's Perfect. it's important to keep the shade in the buildings of when it's very hot. Of course, if uh, if it if it gets very hot and buildings, you know, uh, people are not very comfortable in uh, in high heat and uh, and, and high sun. Okay, uh, behind behind the glass is actually is actually very cool, and this is the next generation of uh, of the building integrated panels. You can see it over here. Okay. This is uh, more uniform in, uh, in shape and color. There are no stripes. And it's actually has a higher, higher transparency. Are this you able to do in mass production? Yes, yes, yes. How is the uh, state of this. getting this to mass production? Uh, we are able to manufacture it in a roll-to-roll -roll format. Okay. So we use uh, a very big roll-to-roll -roll machine to produce this in high volumes. And we are able to address the market needs. So this is a panel, okay? This is our next nice. generation of building the Can I buy this and put on my house? Yes, you can. You can. You can What's contact. The price? You can contact us, and uh, you can buy directly from us. If I need 20 meters, if square. You need, yes. There's a you, discount. You, you, you can buy it for 20 okay, meters. Uh, <laughs> Maybe how more. How about the, is it going to survive more. the snow? It can, it can. If we, we already integrate this in uh, polycarbonate seats or even glass to protect them and give, give them the ability to survive in the, the harshest winter. And is it going to last 40 years? What's the life for the uh, Not even glass will last 40 years. Uh, we're around and uh, maybe above 10 years in lifetime. And then I just put a new one, right? You just put a new one. And exactly. the next gen in 10 years will maybe have more Maybe uh, even. Triple, triple the efficiency and double the lifetime. Nice. And will be easy to upgrade? This is very easy to, to upgrade. Actually, it's very easy to install and uh, put it in many different applications. Uh, so uh, it's very easy to uh, remove it as it is to install it. Of course, you can remove it and put a new one where you want. Is it cheaper than uh, conventional? No, we, we, cannot, we cannot compare it to, to conventional uh, silicon technology. Uh, this is much more mature in terms of uh, efficiency and uh, technology development. This is the sta state of the art in photovoltaics. So it's high efficiency. It has higher, it has high efficiency for uh, for organic module. Okay. Uh, are you able to say that eventually will be the highest efficiency 
or maybe compared to all the other technologies? Uh, it's very difficult to compare technologies between themselves, but uh, we, we hope we have a lot more applications for for uh, for this type of modules, and hopefully one day we can match the silicon technology performance. Nice. Yes. And, and I heard that you even have a crazy setup outside in the. Yeah, we can go check it out. You can check it out. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Let's go. All right. And you have a bunch more stuff at the booth, but yes. maybe we'll we'll maybe check we'll back later. during this week, yes. right? Let me take one of these panels with me. This is the same type of panels that uh, are integrated in the parking itself. Okay, we'll see more with outside. Let's go. Okay. So uh, has it been busy two years? It's actually yes. Uh, three years since we last met. Since we last met, uh, yes, it was 2020. Since uh, yeah. your, your last time here. Last time. Yes. Yes, exactly. Uh, right now, it's uh, more, more people here. More people on the on the live event. Okay, some people actually on the uh, on the remote, but we are very pleased with the results this year. Well, let me put my sunglasses on. Right, and we can walk outside. It's very hot outside. Cool. Day is around 36, 37 degrees. Go. It's the best place in Europe to, to work on solar technology. Yeah, it's very good, very good. We have uh, one of the highest the radiation uh, here, in, here in Europe. So we can understand this. It's, very, it's a very good place to develop solar projects. All right, and everybody in the chat, let me know if the quality is good. And ask uh, questions. We can, I can ask. Let me know in the chat. So th this is the parking installation that we have uh, this year. Th this year, you can see uh, this is the type of format of panels that we use. So we take these panels, we prepare them for uh, with cables and uh, and diodes and stuff like that. We put we glue them on the polycarbonate seats to, to protect them. It's glued from the inside to protect them from the from the elements. Uh, let's say heavy snow or maybe hail. Uh, and then we connect them in series and in parallel to form electrical strings. And all this energy, all, all the energy that's produced here, is, uh, is stored in battery. This type, uh, in this case, is a, is a small battery type. But uh, on a real type scenario, we have a lot bigger, uh, lot, lot bigger battery. So we can manipulate the stored energy as we like. So we can use it for uh, illumination, for, um, uh, let's say, camera setups, uh, closed circuit TV or even uh, Wi-Fi broadband uh, services and stuff like that. The biggest, uh, the biggest challenge is how uh, we can supplement the charge for electric vehicles. So for that reason, we, we can pair uh, an appropriate electrical charger okay, that can use uh, renewable energy produced here on the site to actually supplement the charge for electric vehicles. So um, this roof is going to help charge the car. Yes, How exactly. much of the charging is going to happen through the solar roof? It depends. To the grid? Uh, it, it depends on the, on the like car. This. Yes, it, it, that, that, that very much depends on the situation and the, and the car itself. But uh, it can supplement very nicely the charge of the car. And at the same time, I have a very nice shade where it's cooler here. Uh, the, whole, the whole parking should be like this. Yeah, the whole parking should be. Eventually, the whole parking should be like this. Here, uh, uh, around uh, under the photovoltaics, maybe it's 10 degrees cooler than uh, you know, that's on the sun. Nice. That's, it's that's uh, important good, to be yeah. cooler. You save energy cooling the car later because it, if it gets too hot, and then also this is a passive uh, advantage. Okay. So because not so much uh, irradiation goes through the panels, the panels have the added benefit of cutting 100% of the UV radiation. So no UV radiation reaches the car and the people uh, underneath uh, the panels. So this will yes. help actually uh, not put too much heat stress on the car. Nice. So what's the price for this uh, 20 meter or something like that? Oh, you cannot say, huh? Yeah, no, no, I, I cannot say the price. This, uh, 
very much depends on the specific situation and the, the type of policy. It'd be nice if uh, people could cover their roofs and their houses for mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. affordable price and just yes. connect, save some money on ele energy. And this is our this is this is our uh, our main goal to provide sustainable electricity because we are able to provide this in high volumes, and now we're trying even more to to, to increase uh, the efficiency and power output, okay, and also the lifetime to be able to implement this kind of technology in many different formats. So building integrated photovoltaics, agrivoltaics with OPV, uh, electromobility applications, and so much more. But uh, the the question is, when do politicians jump in? Or companies and place a big order. Yeah, this is, this is this is already happening. Okay, this is a technology that we need the public to know more about. That's why we do all these events and we participate in so many exhibitions around the world for, for to, to educate the public and actually get the big investors, get their, uh, attract their interest and actually make them develop projects with this kind of technology. There's one question: uh, Can these be put on top of electric car roofs uh, uh, we have to done charge them while you drive? Yes, uh, we have uh, done projects uh, with a large car manufacturer here in Europe. Uh, that, that was around 2016. These were some preliminary, preliminary projects. The technology uh, is very much more mature nowadays. And actually, uh, we are planning to do even bigger installations uh, on cars and uh, other types of trucks, of uh, transport vehicles. Uh, how good does this work in cloudy countries compared to other solar panels? Yeah, compared to other panels, uh, it works uh, very good. I think uh, uh, maybe it can, it can lose around 30% of its efficiency, but uh, it can work even on cloudy weather. There's no problem for that. Are you Actually, able to say some numbers in terms of efficiency? Yes, we are looking uh, above 6% for the fully printed panel, for this type of, uh, of fully printed panel, for this one. 6%? Yes, above, it's above 6% actually. Uh, last year was around 5%. This year we're looking above 6%. And we are more than 7.5% in uh, the lab scale. So the small scale in, uh, that's already in uh, research and development. How do you get to more and more percent? What is the trick? Uh, the, the trick is to improve our process, our printing process, uh, the improvement in materials, and our know-how actually on how to print them and increase the yield of production and the power efficiency of the photovoltaic panels. So uh, is it kind of like the materials you use, the mix? It's a mix are of materials. Are you thinking of perovskite? Currently, something? no. Currently, no. We, uh, we, are not have, uh, we do not have perovskite uh, under consideration for a large-scale format. Okay, this uh, organics is the largest uh, scale that, that we use currently. Uh, it's, but the efficiency and the improvement in power output is a mix of uh, better materials and better process. So we're able to, to produce a uh, better, uh, better panel, better OPV. Nice. Do you have this on your house? Uh, I'm developing a flat? project. I'm developing a project, actually, yes. This is oh, under nice. development. Yeah, Yeah. I, I really want to see affordable solar. Yes. And easy to just like place an order online. Mm -hmm. You get a little roll. Yes. And maybe you could even install it yourself. Like a and DIY. And not be afraid of... Uh, Insurances, uh, regulation. Just mm -hmm. put on your roof, plug it in somewhere. Yeah. That will be maybe maybe the next step. Yes, if we develop some kits, DIY kits, so uh, anyone uh, could uh, just place an order and install it uh, in Windows. Uh, let's say sunshades, carports like this one. A lot of different I'm, applications. I'm just gonna say number, but I don't know, like. It'd be nice, thousand, couple thousand, I don't know, euro, I don't know how much you need for this size. Uh, this is uh, more than a couple thousand euros uh, because yeah. you have considered the different materials, the parking, the development side itself, okay, the OPV installation. Uh, maybe five thousand. Uh, maybe more, <laughs> maybe, maybe, double more. That. maybe double that, yeah. But yeah. Uh, we're always trying to uh, have a better performing product, product with uh, low, lowering the cost at the same time. If you buy the panels and do it yourself, install it yourself, different price, right? Yeah, maybe you can save some bucks, but uh, okay. Uh, the, the, the main cost here is the photovoltaic panel, panel itself, not the installation cost. So that's why we're driving, we're trying to drive the cost down for, for the panel itself. EU, the EU, Greece, everybody should put billions into this. Yeah, it should, should be yeah, like, hey, should. this is a top priority. 
Let's get some European solar technology out there. And actually, uh, green technologies is in the core of EU policy, okay? European policy, uh, sustainable te technologies for, uh, for solar and uh, more especially RES. So yes, the policy is there, and now we need the even bigger investments for the technology and actu the actual pro projects themselves. Nice. So that's what the conference is for, right? People yeah, are meeting. You're meeting with the regulators, you're meeting with politicians, you're meeting professors, exactly. you're meeting uh, exactly. startups. Exactly. This is a very large multi event where uh, scientists, engineers, uh, policy makers, you know, everyone comes here to see the new technologies, what's new, uh, let's say, what are the latest developments in solar and especially OPV. So, a, a lot of brainstorming, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of div uh, ideas. Uh, getting developed right here, right now. So let's hope this year we get uh, more and more ideas, better ideas, and actually we have a very positive impact. Uh, can be, can these be used on their own, uh, not needing a battery? You can uh, you just have, connect you it directly. To, you can use it directly, but it's best to have a battery. So you can produce electricity around uh, maybe uh, 10 to 12 to 12 hours a day. You can store it, and then you can use it later. Right. Yes, the battery is right. also a cost to consider. It is a cost, yes, of course. A good battery, you need a big a whole project. For, okay. Yes, uh, for, for, for the whole project, the cost of battery is uh, maybe 30 to 40 percent or even more. All right. And maybe we can go back to your booth. Yes, Just let's go back to more. our booth. And at the back also, you have some more demos. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's go. Uh, is it uh, fun to see people? Again? Yeah, after after all these years, you know, with COVID situation and stuff like that, it's very good to see people uh, discuss with people because uh, there's no substitute for uh, for actual conversation. Okay, so um, let's there's see. one question. Uh, yes. Uh, so this solar is better than wind power. I cannot say that's better than wind power. It's supplementary. Okay, wind wind power is a completely different thing. All, uh, these technologies are uh, all uh, renewable energy, but uh, n nothing is better than the other. Okay, we cannot need compete. Everything. We need everything. Exactly. Uh, let, let's go look at your your installation over there. Yes. Like different kind of use cases, right? Yeah, we have different kind of use cases for yeah. uh, for uh, organic panel. Let's see. Okay. So what are we seeing here? Yes. Uh, this is a retractable pergola. Let me demonstrate. Okay. We have implemented uh, the photovoltaics in the covering material. So because you know they are very lightweight and flexible, so they can be integrated anywhere. Uh, you can retract it. There is an electrical mechanism. Okay. That is uh, also able to operate with OPV power. Okay. And you can actually set it up to cover a very big area. This is a small one just for uh, demonstrative purposes, but you, you get the idea, okay? Uh, OPV panels are, in, are installed on the covering material and at the same time provide uh, enough shade for uh, people to be comfortable underneath. So uh, no, no UV actually reaches uh, people staying uh, downside. And also you can generate electricity to power up, you know, electronics, uh, charge your devices for lighting, and uh, you know anything else? Yes. yes. So we move to the next one. Yes. Uh, <coughs> this is our uh, our pergola bed, specifically made for uh, for tourism here in Greece. You know, here in Greece, tourism is a very big thing. Okay. So we try to find uh, different applications in specific niche market. Uh, that requires, you know, uh, new projects that can have some added, added value and added benefit for the customer. So in that case, we have implemented the OPVs on the roof, again on the roof of the pergola, the wooden, wooden pergola, and we can operate uh, a small uh, refrigerator down, down here, and also people are able to charge the devices uh, through dedicated USB ports, and there is actually a 12-volt port to operate uh, different, uh, different other things.
Nice. So it's like really for the beach. Yeah, this is for the beach specifically for for this kind of uh, of setup. Yes, exactly. And uh, right here we have our uh, solar bus station. This is uh, for a. Uh, Know, uh, projects that we have developed here with a uh, municipality here in, uh, in Thessaloniki. Uh, in this type of, of setup, the, the photovoltaics are uh, embedded in two sheets of polycarbonate, so they are fully protected against uh, snow, rain, hail, uh, even, even extreme heat. And we can produce enough electricity to power up the advertising board in this, uh, with the LED uh, in this uh, scenario. And actually, there are not two, but uh, four USB charging ports to charge your uh, mobile devices, let's say phones, smartwatches. Uh, when you wait for the bus, you can just plug it in and have a quick charge. And uh, nice. all, all the electronics, uh, this is uh, not set up completely right now, all the electronics are embedded in this system. So it's uh, all in one system. Like in, and it can be remote, install, installed in many different scenarios. You don't need to be tied to the grid, okay? You can just have a battery and photovoltaics and you can power up all your setup. And there is also an LED stripe right here uh, that is used for, uh, for nighttime illumination. Nice. So it's just a question of uh, then placing order 400 of these mm -hmm. and all the different uh, local governments all over the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for, uh, if, for, for the smaller, to the larger project, uh, the developer has to come to us. Okay, we can develop the whole project, or we'll bring more people together, more companies together, uh, to uh, build uh, the bus station. We build the photovoltaics, we install it, and then we deliver it to the client. Nice. Um, there's one question here. Solar power came a long way since my solar calculator. Mm -hmm. He had solar in his calculator in the 80s. Yeah, this so was <laughs> this was a, a very good design, a huge advancement. Okay, this is over 30 years, uh, or even more of, uh, of development. This is the, the third generation. So we have gone, we have uh, gone through first generation, second generation of thin films. This is the third generation, fully printed organic solar cells. Nice. Yeah. Uh, should we walk back to your booth? Yes. Let's go. There's even more. So we're looking at those cool purses. What's so the brand? Gucci? Prada? No, no, no. We, can, we cannot say. I cannot say on camera. No. But, uh, but you, could, uh, you could work with them. Yes, they we can. contact you? We can. Uh, and then boom. Not them specifically, but we have done uh, contacts with developers. It's actually huge to have a brand name on top of that, okay? Uh, the main idea behind this is how you can use a system that generates that generates electricity in a portable format, okay? So this is not specifically wearable, but you can see it's very lightweight. All electronics are implemented inside the bag. And uh, there are uh, charging stations, so you can uh, plug, uh, plug in your phone to charge, okay? And it's also light for nighttime illumination. Uh, in this type of woman's purse, this is one, one demonstrator. This is the other case uh, of our setup where uh, uh, there is a, a dedicated USB port here to charge your device and actually uh, there are uh, lights you can see that you can use for signal purposes and the, the full organic solar cell is implemented very nicely on the front of the bag. We have uh, been contacted by several motorcyclists and uh, they saw for, for flexible lighting they saw the advantage to, to use this type of technology uh, in the actual <coughs> in the actual uh, jackets, so we have incorporated a thin strip, a very lightweight. This is uh, less than a hundred of uh, less than a hundred of a millimeter in width that is incorporated very nice on the on the back of the jacket, and this can illuminate in the night, giving more more an optical signal. Okay signal the other drivers that there is an actual person on the motorbike. Okay. Uh, and we also, we have done the same work on helmets. So, 
and all this flexible lighting is incorporating in the cell uh, of the helmet and uh, it's able to, to illuminate. Okay, you can see we can operate it. So you do flexible solar and flexible lighting, OLED? We do flexible solar, flexible uh, lightning, OLED, electroluminescence. We also do flexible sensors, flexible antennas, uh, RFIDs and stuff like that. We, print, we, we can print a lot of different things. I got a couple questions in the chat. Yeah, let's see. Uh, what's the cost per square meter? Uh, right now, it's more or less 1,000 euros per square meter. For that the is, solar? For the solar, uh, panels, installation, cabling, and everything included. All right. Uh, and here, is how much power does the solar output? Is it 6% you were talking about? This is a 6% efficiency. It's around uh, 25 watts per square meter of install um, capacity, yes. I can install in other country to produce this solution? Yes. You can work with every country? We can work with uh, any, any other country, yes. We work with a lot of uh, European Union countries. Uh, we, we work uh, with uh, USA, different countries. So everything is possible here, yes. Nice. Uh, let's, let's continue. You were, you were talking about this helmet. So that yes. was more about the display, no solar? No, there is no solar here. We are trying to do it for a, a later demonstration. But the main case here for this type of uh, applications is how we can use uh, flexible lighting that we produce in this type of installations. Uh, and the last one that I'm going to show you <coughs> is uh, the jacket that incorporates flexible lighting. Let's see. Another one of these uh, safety jackets. Okay. So, uh, in this instance, we can provide uh, a signal, an optical signal, to say that someone is here. Okay. There is a presence of a, of a human here. Okay. You can see everything is incorporated. Incorporated side is very lightweight, so anyone can carry it uh, with them. So it's about safety. Mm -hmm. to light it's, it up. Uh, everything about safety, yes. Even with the helmet and the jacket, the motorcycle jacket, it's all about safety. You know, you need that extra optical signal, especially when the night conditions, uh, there, there's not enough light. Anything extra can benefit. What's the partnership that you do, or do you do it yourself? The whole roll-to-roll -roll manufacturing. Mm -hmm. We have a very strong collaboration with a uh, lab for thin film here in Thessaloniki, the LTFN lab uh, from the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. We exchange a lot of, uh, lot of knowledge, okay? uh, a lot of uh, R&D, so research and development. Uh, and uh, we will produce anything, uh, everything here is produced in a roll to roll format. Nice. So it's going to be a busy week? Uh, yes, busy week. Uh, a lot of very, uh, very interesting uh, talks and topics here. Uh, a lot of uh, very interesting people. Uh, some new, some uh, okay, we have uh, met again, but it's great for uh, networking and meeting new people always.